Vector addition of forces. The net force that acts on an object, when two or more forces act on, it is known as the resultant force. Two or more forces acting on a body, can be combined into a single force using vector addition concept. If the forces act in the same straight line, the resultant is found by a simple addition or subtraction. If the forces do not act in the same straight line, the resultant can be determined by using the parallelogram law, or tip-to-tail method. When several forces act together from a point, the resultant force can be determined by simple addition or subtraction. For example, when two forces of 3 newton and 7 newton act together towards the same direction, its resultant forces is 10 newton. If two forces of 3 newton and 7 newton act in opposite direction, its resultant forces is 4 newton. Parallelogram law states that if two forces acting at a point, are represented in size and direction by the sides of a parallelogram drawn from the point. This method suitable if the two forces are not right angle to each other. Their resultant is represented in size and direction, by the diagonal of the parallelogram drawn from the point. For example, the resultant of forces P, and Q, is thus represented by R. To add two forces, the tip of the first force is joined to the tail of the second force. The resultant is then presented by a line, from the tail of the first force to the tip of the second force. In figure shown, the resultant of the forces S, and T, is represented by R. Thank you for taking time to watch this.